This Obai Shabander joined us now from Ankara. So, Obai, talk to us about the significance of the court indictment uh, that Fatal was behind the assassination of the Russian ambassador. Well, a major indictment has just been handed down by the chief prosecutor's office here in Ankara that details an extensive connection between the FETO International Terror Group and the assassin that was behind the killing of Andrei Karlov, Russia's ambassador to Turkey. That assassination happened in 2016. The assassin was an off-duty cop who was there at the gallery as, as part of the security. He killed the ambassador, and he was subsequently killed in a dramatic shootout with the police. And now what's so significant about this indictment that's just come from the prosecutor's office is that it details an extensive network that was behind the assassination. What we're hearing here is that the intent of the assassination was to cause major friction between Turkish-Russian relations and to further dampen relations between the two countries at a very sensitive time diplomatically um, between Ankara and Moscow relations as they were working um, uh, towards an understanding over Syria. This indictment shows <clears throat> that there was an extensive network, not only behind the assassination, but behind a broader effort to destabilize Turkey and to destabilize uh, Turkey's diplomatic relations with Russia. So this, the next steps here is for the courts uh, to take up this, this indictment. And we're likely to see potentially even more individuals involved in this network. But ultimately here, what's the, the bottom line is that it seems that Fethullah Gulen, a radical cleric behind the FETO terror group network who's based in the U.S., was found, in, based on this indictment, to be behind the assassination of the Russian ambassador Andrei Karlov. All right, Obay Shabander, live from Ankara.